Hey, welcome to another episode of the Obscure Spotlight. I'm Kyle. I'm your host. Uh, today's episode, uh, we're actually going to talk about the first character on the, the Spotlight to have their own series. Uh, today's character is Firebrand. Uh, he's actually the third Firebrand in the DC uh, Universe, and his name is Alejandro Sanchez, uh, but he goes by Alex. Uh, he first appeared in Firebrand number one, uh, and that came out in 1996. It was written by Brian Augustine. It was written by Sal Valuto, uh, and it was a pretty short-run book. It didn't last very long at all. It only ran for nine issues, and uh, our hero, Alex you know, Firebrand, he only appeared twice outside of his own book, so that's kind of why he qualifies for the obscure spotlight. Uh, first of all, uh, he was a, a little kid, and he was in a fire. Uh, he was just kind of blown up a little bit out of the house, got a little scar on his chest, survived, he was okay. Unfortunately, his little sister, Christina, was killed in the fire. It was a bad deal, and it affected their family for the rest of their lives. Alex went on to become a cop, trying to prevent you know this kind of tragedy from ever happening to anybody else again. His brother, Javier, went on to be a priest. Uh, this actually works out pretty well for, for Alex, because it gives him a sounding board and someone to kind of listen to and and run things by in the future about, you know, moral dilemmas and things like that. So Alex, you know, is a detective in New York City. He's one of the best detectives on the force. He gets involved with a child kidnapping ring and uh, is on the verge of breaking the case wide open uh, when the, the people that are kidnapping the children decide, you know, this guy's getting too close. We got we to gotta shut him down. We got to do something. Let's blow up his house. So they blow him up his house. Uh, this time, the second time he's blown up in a fire, he is not so lucky. Uh, he's basically crippled, you know, he has many broken bones, numerous, you know, internal injuries, you know, he has a lot of, you know, burns, things like that. Just, you know, he's not going to ever be the same again. So in steps this uh, guardian angel of sorts. It's a rich businessman. His name is Noah Hightower. And he kind of gets involved with uh, cases like this because... His own son was uh, kidnapped at some point, and you know he never finds out what happens to his son. So he kind of goes around donating his money to helping you know people that are able, you know, and causes that you know help you know missing children, you know, abused children, things like this. So he comes in and patches Alex up, gets him back, you know, not not completely healed. Alex still walks with a cane, and, you know, things like that. So he gets him you know medical treatment. But then when Alex is better, he says, "Now look." You know, you don't have to do anything. This is all free of charge. You know, you, you can live your life, you know. But I also have this other thing, this secret thing. Uh, it's a super suit. You'd become a superhero and you would, uh, you know, you'd be better than you're, you know, you were before. But you don't have to do it. Like, no big deal. Uh, so luckily for, you know, the reader, Alex decides to do this. And he takes the super suit and becomes the hero firebrand. After that, you know, the first thing he does, obviously, is he takes down the people that are kidnapping the children. He finds out it's actually a human experimentation scientist, I guess you would call him, who's, uh, you know, using these children for his uh, purposes. Shuts that guy down. Uh, and then, you know, the rest of his book, he just takes on a few different characters. He takes on the guy called Max the Knife, who uh, basically butchered these women. But uh, they thought, you know, we had the guy. He's... We, we captured him years ago. It's got to be a copycat. The guy that was the original Max the Knife is in a hospital. You know, he's, you know, he was shot by a police officer. He's now crippled. Obviously, it's a copycat. Turns out it wasn't. He got some kind of psionic powers and is, like, you know, controlling people mentally into recreating his crimes. So he and his brother stopped that one. Uh, he goes to a town where the children are all replaced by the, the adults of the, the city with robots because they want to keep their children safe. So they have these killer kid robots running around obviously firebrand stops that uh, and then he finally fights what would be his first considered super villain a guy called serpentine he was a, a doctor that was uh, hit with a dose of radiation and it mutates his body makes his body kind of malleable so he wears this snake lizard kind of mix up of a, of a suit calls himself serpentine uh, that's really all he does in his book it was only nine issues so it went pretty quick so outside of uh, the issue with the Guardian, he only appears in one other book outside of his own series. It was in an issue of JSA Secret Files and Origins. It was issue number two of that uh, run. Uh, he appears in uh, Roulette's house, which is a, I guess you would call it a facility where Roulette kidnaps superheroes and drugs them. 
and forces them to fight each other to the death while other supervillains watch and gamble on the outcome. So he's in here, he's fighting a, a knight from Checkmate, which is probably about the most obscure hero she could find besides Firebrand. So they're fighting each other, uh, they're trying to kill each other. Luckily, or maybe to his credit, Firebrand fights off the drugs and he's like, hey man, we've got to get out of here, we gotta, we got to work together, we're not evil, we can't kill each other. And so he's like trying to win this guy over and the guy just stabs him in the throat. Uh, unfortunately, that's the end of Firebrand. Um, you know, pretty quick, you know, rundown. The guy had nine issues of his own book and two outside. He never really contributed too much to the larger DCU, but it's a cool character, interesting costume. And I think you guys should, uh, you know, learn a little bit more about this guy and check the book out. All right. Thanks for watching. That's the episode of Obscure Spotlight Firebrand. You know, tune in next time. Bye.